Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and today is August the 9th. And today marks the end of an arduous journey. Yeah, of her, but something else. This is Lauren Bavick, and a lot of you know Lauren Bavick. She's an amazing singer, uh, she's an amazing musician, and she leads uh, like two bands, she's got a solo career, She's all over YouTube, all over social media. There's nothing this woman can't do. If you haven't heard her cover of Easy On Me by Adele, it may change your opinion on who actually sings Easy On Me better. And I'm not kidding. But this, there's a reason why I'm making this video like this instead of doing a music reaction because this is an important, important story I need to tell you. Yes, that is Lauren Babbick. And this is Lauren Babbick's box. Okay, that, that's, no, that was, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> that didn't come out right, hold on. Okay, this is Lauren Babbick, and this is Lauren Babbick's beaver. Shit. <sighs> These things wouldn't be so funny if you guys weren't such perverts, I gotta be honest with you. All right, my name is Old School Nerd, you guys know me. Check me out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all my stuff, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm not the person, to, I'm just telling the story. Okay, I'm telling you the story. So, Lauren Babbick, Toronto, Canada. Amazing singer, performer, metal growler, harsh vocalist, the whole nine yards. Okay, she is on a tour right now that she's wrapping up a tour with Hallocene, the amazing Hallocene, David Michael Frank, just Joe Syracuse, and this amazing photographer named Sam. And they're in, um, it, it's August 9th, and they're in Des Moines, Iowa, okay? And they're putting on their epic show, and then they've got a two-day drive to head back to uh, Phoenix, Arizona to do their final show of their the rest of their U.S. tour. Now, this all starts... This whole tale starts with a simple little thing. Lauren once came to Texas and she did some shows. While she was in Texas, she heard about a place called Bucky's. And someone told her about Bucky's and they told her that Bucky's has this mascot. And there's this little, there's this, the mascot is a beaver named Bucky. And since that moment where she discovered this Texas institution, Lauren has been obsessed with beavers. Fuck! I've got to stop walking into that joke. Anyway, Lauren, once she found out about the, the hilarity of the Bucky's empire, she has become obsessed with getting stuff from Bucky's. So, Hallocene has a tour earlier this year in the springtime. And I went to the show in Portland. We met Lauren and we met Hallocene. We met Violet Orlandi. It was an amazing show. Every show on the West Coast tour and in the Mountain Tour were amazing. So amazing they were that the entire world has been begging Hallocene to continue the tour. And so they have. Addie, Brad, Joe, they got together and said, you know what? We're going to do the Midwest. We're going to do... I'm going to move Lauren out of the way. They were going to do the Midwest. This, this whole area right here. I'm, I'm like a weatherman. This whole area. Then they're going to do the south, which is where my hand is now. And they're going to do the northeast, uh, all that stuff, right? And then they're going to go to Europe later. And they called up Lauren and said, Lauren, are you down? She's like, Psh, I'm there. They wanted to know if Violet could do it. And Violet couldn't do the visa thing. And Violet's working on her new album. She is, she's got so much stuff going on. They're like, hey, what about David Michael Frank? And they're like, bingo. Because David Michael Frank is from Tennessee. He's got all that South, all that mid Midwest, all that East Coast love. He can do it. And they also have a guy that opens up with them called Just Joe. He's from Syracuse, New York. He's a crooner. And I think if I say crooner, he's cool with that term. But he's an outstanding cover artist who can literally sing any song while playing the piano and make you just go, holy crap. He's that good. And Sam, the merch guy, also does all their photography, and so they hit the road. Now, they started off in Phoenix, Arizona, and everything was going just peachy. They were excited. 
They were leaving Phoenix, Arizona. The entire crew, minus Joe, just Joe Syracuse, who had a show that he had to play at a yacht club somewhere in New York, singing under the boardwalk and shit like that. So anyway, when he was done with that show, he was going to meet them in Dallas, Texas. So the first show, let me help you out, Dallas, Texas. Yes, I, I have a Hallocene little thing I can move around to show you where Hallocene is going to be now. They go from Phoenix, Arizona, on their way to Dallas, Texas, and something happens. They get to a town called Midland, Odessa. Which I'm just going to put the little Lauren Square right here to show you where she's at. And Lauren gets sick, and she tests positive for COVID. And it's devastating, because nobody wants to tour and meet the fans and perform as much as Lauren. Well... Maybe Hallocene, maybe just Joe, maybe, well, they're all equally, the fans are important to all of them, but they have to leave Lauren there. She's got to isolate. She can't leave until she follows the CDC protocols for COVID infection. So she gets in a hotel room and she's now in Odessa, Midland, Midland, Odessa, Texas. Now, for those who don't know, there is nothing in Midland, Odessa, Texas, except for those who live in Midland, Odessa, you're fine people and you have a fine city. I'm sure it's wonderful. However... If you don't live there, there's not a lot going on except uh, grocery stores called Hebs. It's spelled H-E-B, but Lauren tells me it's called Heb. Just accept it. So Lauren's going to be there for pretty much four to five days, possibly even a week. Hallocene continues on to Dallas for their show. They meet up with just Joe, and now we're talking about July 20th. Hallocene has their show. It's an amazing show. Chelsea and I on the 21st, leave from our little place in Lafayette, Louisiana. Now, I thought about putting my cover on there, but I don't think it really matters. I mean, I don't, I don't think it does. Does it? Should I even, do I even want to do that? Nah, it's okay. So, we're in Lafayette, Louisiana, which is just, uh, I'll, I'll just, right there. So, we're, we're there, and we're coming to the Houston show. So, we think that Hallocene is coming to Houston. Now, we knew that Lauren wasn't going to make it. We were feeling really upset about that because we were hoping to meet Lauren. And we were so excited uh, to see her again. And we knew how devastated she was. And she was all alone. And Chelsea and I are driving to Houston. And on our way on the 21st of July, we, uh, we realized, oh, my God. If Lauren misses the Dallas show and she misses the Houston show, there's no Bucky's in Midland. When she flies to meet Hallocene later on the tour, she won't get any Bucky's. That's when my girlfriend Chelsea jumped into action. She made a stop at the Bucky's <laughs> in Baytown, Texas, and she bought everything that you could slap that stupid beaver on. A plushy, round, basketball sized plushy of Bucky the Beaver. Uh, Bucky the Beaver blanket, chapstick, shot glass, um, bottle cap opener, um, a, a blankie, um, coloring book. Yeah, a Bucky's tour t-shirt with all the tour stops, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It, it's a, it was a lot. She put it all in this bag and it was beautiful. It was perfect. We got to our hotel. She starts packing up this bag. She's so excited because she's going to bring this bag and give it to Addie and say, Addie, when Lauren meets up with you guys, she's probably going to be like, I missed out on all the Bucky stuff. Addie, just give her this from us and say we took care of you. That was the plan. However, while, while Chelsea is packing said bag full of Bucky goodness, I get a text message from Brad. Dude, we're, we we tested positive for COVID. We can't do the Houston show. We have to cancel. Are you guys already over there? And I'm like, yeah, we're here. Sorry, bro. It's okay. So I tell Chelsea. Chelsea's devastated. I'm devastated. The bag of Bucky stuff is devastated. So now you got Lauren stranded in Texas. And now Hallocene, instead of being in Houston, are literally, and I'm not joking, hauling ass across Arkansas. Now, why are they hauling ass across Arkansas? Well, it's because half of the crew was sick, the other half wasn't.
but they all needed to isolate. Now, at this point, they decided, you know what, we need to cancel the Houston show and at least the Atlanta show. That's the 21st and 23rd. That gives them at least three days to hopefully test negative. The show after that is the one in Nashville, which would be the home show for David Michael Frank. So while they're traveling, they give us a buzz, let us know they're not going to make it. We tell them it's going to be fine. It's okay. Then I had an idea. Well, if they all have to go to Tennessee and they have to go to Nashville to hold up and um, to isolate themselves and get better so that they can test negative and get back on the road, they're going to be in Nashville for a few days. And the uh, Canadian, uh, the Canadian Tasmanian devil over here in West Texas, she's going to test negative. She's going to get on an airplane and she's going to fly to Tennessee and meet up with said group. And you know what we could do? And I told Chelsea, I said, you know what? We could probably ship the Bucky's box from Texas to Tennessee. And when Lauren gets there, <laughs> that was a pretty good idea. So what did I do? Well, Lauren's still in West Texas. So what do I do? I get a hold of David Michael Frank. I'm like, David. No, you guys are going to be going over where your neck of the wood is. Is there any place that I could send this care package so Lauren gets it when she meets up with you? He's like, absolutely, no problem. So we go to UPS first thing in the morning. We bring the Bucky's box to UPS. UPS is like, we can get it there by Monday, but it's going to be 150 bucks. No, but we can get it there on Tuesday for 30 pay the man. So here comes the Bucky's box. Bucky's box is on its way. Now in the meantime, we've they've announced that the Atlanta show and the Nashville show will be postponed along with the uh, Houston show. So the next show will be July 24th in Richmond, Virginia. Okay. Well, unfortunately, our um our little package um was going to arrive, I'm sorry, July 26th. Our package was going to arrive on Tuesday, the 26th. So if our package was going to arrive on the 26th in Tennessee, and Hallisteen had a show in Richmond, Virginia, on the 26th, those are not the two same places. So I called UPS, I tried to get it rerouted to, um, to see if I could get this thing shot over to, um, to New Jersey. If I get this thing to New Jersey, divert it to New Jersey, Hallisine and Lauren will eventually meet up with it in New Jersey. Well, that wasn't gonna happen. While all this is going on, by the way, so our little Bucky package is somewhere halfway between Houston and Nashville. Well, Lauren Babbick finally loses her mind, goes nuts, um, buys all the Pokemon cards in the grocery store in Midland, Texas, realizes she's got to get the hell out of Dodge because all she finds are ice chests, smokers, and cowboy hats that say cowboys make better lovers, and she's starting to lose her Canadian mind. She tests negative and joins Hallocene in Tennessee. Now at this point, I want to thank Hallisine for being here. Okay, now that Lauren's there, now we got to try to get the package to Lauren. Lauren is now with the troop. They go off to Richmond, Virginia. The package arrives in Tennessee on the same day of their show in Richmond. At this point, Hallisine shows are going to be one after another, after another, after another. The odds of me being able to ship this package to the venue uh, and it arrive ahead of the band and the venue say, we'll take it, we'll hold it for her. Absolutely. We love Lauren Babbick. We'll make sure that her package is here when she arrives. Is a lot harder to do than you'd imagine because most venues are not open during the day. They're nighttime music venues. So after about a week of trying to figure out what to do, 
it's no longer July. Now it's August. Well, actually, it's not August yet. Um, it's actually July the 29th. And Lauren and Halicine are in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> the package is still in Tennessee. However, we happen to know that they will be in Columbus, Ohio in just a few days. I contact UPS and say, hey, if I ship this from Tennessee and you guys pick it up, can you have it in Columbus, Ohio on the 3rd of August? And they're like, absolutely we will. In fact, we'll have it there on the 2nd. So I called the venue in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio was Scully's Music and Food Bar. Great venue. Manager picked up, said old school nerd. I'd be honored to receive the package. It'll be here in the office when Lauren gets here. I'll put it with my stuff. Nobody will mess with it. And I said, it'll be there on the Monday, uh, on the Tuesday. They don't play till the Wednesday. He said, no problem. The venue was good to go. Now all I needed to do was to get a package from Tennessee across Kentucky into Columbus, Ohio. Then Mother Nature said, hold up, boy. I'm going to dump 8 inches to 11 inches of rain in Kentucky, close down most of the roads, and in the transit, UPS did a failed transit. Now, what happens when you have a failed transit? Normally, you send it back to wherever the package came from. However, the package didn't originally come from Tennessee. It came from Houston, Texas. Yes, that's correct. On the Monday, uh, on on the Monday, and on on the Monday, which which is actually I think the first or the second, it, yeah, on Monday, on the first, the package arrived back in Houston. <laughs> At this point, there's no way the package is going to get all the way back to Columbus in two days to meet them at at scully's so i called scully's i told the manager dude thank you so much by the way if you ever if you live in columbus and you and you visit scully's for music music and stuff great venue great staff great manager awesome person um i highly recommend them even though i've never been there but they were great to work with i'm like i have no idea what i'm gonna do no clue i messaged a friend of mine brock you guys know brock from my channel guess where he's at milwaukee wisconsin Guess where Hallocene was two days ago? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. However, Brock wasn't. <laughs> Brock was at a celebration somewhere and there was no way he was going to make the show so he couldn't help me out. And this is where something magical happens. At this point, Lauren Babick is 1,300 miles away from her package of Bucky's goodness. And we're Chelsea and I are getting completely desperate. We don't know how we're going to get this woman, her Bucky's, she needs her Bucky's. I mean, she can't go through the whole tour and not get any Bucky's love. She has to have the Bucky's. So I was talking about it in a stream the other day. And one of my amazing community members, Luca Fio, I won't tell anybody what your real name is, but you, sir, are amazing. Luca Fio is like, dude, I'm going to the Des Moines, Iowa show. Could you send me the package before then? Where do you live? I live in Missouri. I, I got to drive a couple hours, but I'm going to the show. I got meet and greet and everything. What's your address? He sends me his address. And Luca Fio, literally, okay, so up here, uh, up at the very top, right here, okay, right here is Des Moines, Iowa. This is where Lauren's going to be Tonight, when I'm making this video on the night, he lives right there. <laughs> and he's going to the show. And then I find out that UPS can ship it ground guaranteed to his door on Monday, which was yesterday. Yesterday, Luca Fio called UPS, talked to his UPS driver, who delivers to both his office and his house. It was scheduled to go to his house. He talked to his driver, and the driver's like, here, take the box now, just in case. I want to make sure it gets to you. And then once he got that box, 
Dude, I mean, he put it in his car, and he's like, dude, I put it in my car. It's not leaving my car till I get there. He even put LB from Old School Nerd on the box. Today came, Lico Fio said he's got the box. He's leaving at 2 p.m. No problem. Got you covered, Old School. I'm going to get there. And right in the middle of my stream tonight, I get this picture. All is good in the world of Lauren Babbitt and Bucky's. This is the meet and greet at the show in, in Des Moines, Iowa tonight. There's David Michael Frank. There's the amazing Joe. There's Addy, also Brad. Uh, just Joe Syracuse is probably warming up for his set. And Luca Fio made sure that that box got to her. She opened it during the meet and greet. And from what I've been told from people who are at the show, that stuffed beaver from Bucky's has been on the, on the stage the entire time. Uh, she unpacked the box. She's extremely ecstatic and happy. My girlfriend, Chelsea, is very, very, very happy because that's all she wanted was to be able to make sure that one of her favorite singers who talked about getting her Bucky's on this tour, no matter COVID, no matter travel, no matter isolation, no matter crazy schedules, the story of this tour is going to be twofold. No matter what, Holocene's going to make it. They're going to be there, and they're going to give you 100%. And I know that if there's a way that they can make up the Houston show, the Atlanta show, the Nashville show, they're going to find a way. If they can do it, they will. So all of the Holocene fans that, that, were at, that had tickets for those shows, just be patient. they got a lot of traveling to do. they got a lot of family that they need to take care of as soon as they can get home. But if there's a way, you know Talisman's going to make it right. To all of those who helped, UPS, Michael Alvarado in Texas, David Michael Frank's amazing wife who received the package and put it out for UPS to pick up, to the manager of Scully's, to my amazing girlfriend, Chelsea maybe, for putting that package together, for Halicene, for just Joe, for Sam, for David Michael Frank, for making the tour, continuing on, continuing it on, for Lauren keeping the faith, and the unsung hero, Luca Fio, who just happened to be watching one of my streams and said, I'll, 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 I'll make sure that package gets there, buddy. And just made it happen. And that's the story of Lawrence Beaver. God damn it! You'd think I, you'd think I would. <sighs> I need help. We'll see you guys later. Hey, love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. Luckily for all of us, we all have Bucky's. And now, so does Lauren.